Bulldog Country, this week we're talking with senior on the men's hockey team, Carson Soucy, about the team's success so far this season, as well as getting to know him a little bit better. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Corey flipped it in there. I a follow went to the net. They combined to get Minnesota. Hi, my name is Carson Soucy. I'm a senior defenseman for the UMD Bulldogs, and I wear number 21. You could say the team's chemistry has been pretty evident this season with your seven game unbeaten streak. What would you say are some of the keys to the Bulldogs' success so far? Uh, for keys for us, just sticking with our game. I mean, we've got fast forwards uh, that can get after their team, and then obviously good goaltending with Hunter. Um, you know, we try to tighten up our D zone this second half, and I think we've done a good job of that, and just work with Hunter back there, and then let our forwards do the work once we get the puck up the ice. And with only a few more weekends of regular season conference games, um, what are some of the things you guys are focused on for the remainder of the season? Um, again, just that D zone. We gotta just uh, you know tighten that up. It's a work in progress, but we've gotten better at it. And then um, our penalty kill, obviously, and our special teams, um, that comes down to in those uh, late playoff games, um, you know, that's what wins games. So we got to have our special teams solid and just keep improving that during the weeks and hopefully during the weekends. What has it been like playing with your cousin Parker the last two seasons, and how close were you guys growing up, both being from Irma? Uh, it's nice. It's always enjoyable to know someone I mean we've been he's been one of my best friends since um, we were born pretty much he's uh, always been close with me and then we played with him I played with him all growing up and even in juniors when we moved to Spruce Grove and then you know when he committed here it was, it was pretty exciting for me to have a you know a fellow not only a fellow Canadian but someone from the small town it uh it helps when we get family come down we got the same family and we get a we get a pretty big group of Canadians that come down here and watch us and it's it's nice to have that double support that we get. Just kind of building off that, what made you wanted to come to the United States and play hockey? Um, yeah, just being able to play NCAA, just being the top tier, uh, you know, hockey league and then uh, I wasn't going to the WHL and I figured if I was coming down to college I could get my schooling done with it too and then, you know, just thinking about Duluth, it was a great city and just I felt like a great fit for me with the coaches and, you know, with my teammates and I think I you know, I'm really happy with my choice. And you guys are at the uh, top national rank spot. What can you still do better? And there's always room for improvement. So what, what are you guys going to do to keep that number one spot and build off of that? Uh, you just got to be hungry. You just can't get complacent. I mean, you see teams over the years that, you know, they get that number one spot. And, you know, it doesn't really mean anything right now. It's early. So, you know, we just got to be hungrier and we just got to want, want to keep winning more. And we got to start with, you know, winning what's ahead of us, winning that first conference trophy, the NCHC, and then take it from there and hopefully, hopefully just keep that momentum going and keep winning. You've played a lot of fast pitch softball in your day for Canadian national teams. What is it about that sport that you like and how has it helped you play hockey? Uh, yeah, I mean, what I like about it is just growing up playing it. I grew, uh, gained a lot of friendships from that. Um, then just what you can learn from it, you use the hand eye, and I think it's just beneficial for you know other people to play those kind of sports and get out there and try different things. You hold the distinction of being the first Bulldog to be drafted by the Minnesota Wild. How much contact do you have with them during the season and what is usually discussed during those times? Yeah, I mean, uh, you're not allowed to see them very much, obviously. They can, you know, mostly just checking in how your season's going and, you know, give you maybe some tips to work on, which is always nice. I'm always looking to improve, but, I mean, ultimately, they want you and, you know, you got to focus on what's in front of you and that's, that's our season right now. And now Bulldog Country would like to get to know Carson a little bit better outside of hockey, so we're going to do some rapid fire questions. Um, what is your favorite non-hockey related thing to do for fun? Golf. If you could have any superpower, what would it be and how would you use it? I would fly, but I don't know how I'd use it as a superpower. <laughs> um, who is the best roommate you've ever had? Um, I guess I would say all my roommates right now. This is with I'm with five other hockey players, so I don't want to make anyone mad. I just say all of them. Uh, who's the worst? Who's the worst? 
Uh, worst roommate. I can't. I don't know. I don't have any. I. I mean, we all get along pretty well. So. If you could play any collegiate sport at the D1 level besides hockey, what would it be? Basketball. Who is your personal hero? Personal hero. Uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> if you had to live without one of your five senses, which one would you give up? Oh, hearing. Who would play you in the movie of your life? Will Ferrell. What motivates you to succeed? Um, what motivates me is just, I don't know, proving people wrong, um, showing what I can do, and you know, hopefully making it to the top level. If you could see any band or musician from any time period in concert, who would it be? Right now, Floor Georgia Line. And what is your favorite UMB hockey memory to date? Um, continually beating the Gophers. 